uh, which I published in February of this year, which is really exciting. And uh, the title of my book is um, Breaking Bitch, Dismantling the Lies to Reclaim Your Truth. And I, I really love it. I do too. Thank you. I do Thank too. you so much. It's Thank so you. Positive. It's Thank very you. It's, I was really intrigued when I saw your Thank um, you. your card here. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing more about your book. Yeah, it's um, really a penetrating analysis of this word. Um, it really has become a monster, if you will, like this Leviathan and also a knee jerk response that people use when they are either upset with a woman, right? Right. Um, when she is being quote unquote um, too abrasive or too aggressive. Um, unfortunately, never there's never a word. Means. There's never a word that people call a man when he's acting in the, the same exact way. same way, right? He's just being out of control a man. at the moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> but also, it's unfortunately become um, one of these sort of uh, go-to words that people use when they. Um, want to quote unquote celebrate their sisters or their friends or you know their, their girlfriends or something like that and what people are not understanding is that the more that they continue to use this word the more that each of us are responsible for creating more spaces where women and young girls are called this word right and it's really detrimental to how we are creating and shaping our present reality but also our future realities as well and if we are in this space of wanting to um, overturn long-standing patriarchy, which is extremely critical to do for many obvious reasons, um, then we're going to have to really start with language. You know, I always say when I'm conducting seminars and trainings that language and communication, those are really the cornerstones of right. humanity, right? right? Like how we express ourselves um, pertains to everything. How we are creating policies that actually have impact on people's lives, you know? Uh, because I live in Washington, D.C., I'm not very far from the White House. And, of course, you feel the effects of that, right, in society, in these communities that we live in. And we've seen how language, just words alone, really have an impact on people's lives and how families are separated, you know, yes, and absolutely. how we continue to um, um, perpetuate these old narratives about women and, and girls and, and other various groups as well.